It's been raining for three weeks straight, and today we woke up to this. Merry Christmas, guys. That didn't work out. I hope you're all having a very wholesome Christmas. I think we can all agree that the best part of the year is these days, like right in between Christmas and New Year's, where all you're doing is playing new video games while eating Christmas candy. This dev vlog is a little late because I simply couldn't resist some snow fun and doing the regular Christmas stuff we all love. Obviously, this Christmas is a little different than most, given the circumstances, so I think we should all try a little extra to make the most out of what we have. Siggy agrees. Let's double up on those treats. Today's episode is going to be about making the game fun and playable. Which means that we're going to have to confront a huge issue with the game that I've been sort of sweeping under the rug for the longest time. But if we want to make real actual progress, there is just no way to ignore this issue any further. But more on that later. I also want to bring Viv back for an official round two of Punch a Bunch. Last time we played was uh, lots of tweaks needed. <laughs> so I want to work on balancing the game to a point where it's actually fun to play. So that's going to be the goal for today's episode. Also, uh, Toby finally helped me set up an Instagram. So if you want to follow along and get some updates in between devlogs, then check it out. Links in the description. Last episode, we fixed most of the spamming issues by adjusting our stamina system and a few other things. But to be sure, Viv and I did a couple of test runs with a new system just to make sure that we're headed in the right direction. It was definitely better, but the game was still feeling a bit wild and it just felt like you weren't really in control of your character. You're cheating! <laughs> I can't! <laughs> I spent some time writing down a list of things that I think will make the game more playable and fun. Looking at a game like Tekken, for example, you have the ability to stun lock your opponent for a moment by performing the right attacks with good timing. I think this is a great way for a player to take control of the match. It's of course infuriating for the other player, but it adds a sense of fear in the game and will force you to think twice about being too aggressive. I like this and I think it's worth trying it out and punch a bunch, as right now, there's not really any penalty for just throwing punches as often as you can. Okay, so I implemented a shorter stun. We already have the big stun with the stars, which stuns you for a long time. Uh, this new one is a lot easier to activate. You can do it by landing a hard hit, attacking a weak opponent, or by blocking a hard punch. This is so that there's like a reward to execute a good block, and also to deter you from just loading up heavy punches all the time. I really think that anything that's really powerful in a game, such as a fully loaded, charged up punch, there should also be a downside to it. Otherwise, there's just no balance. There's no reason for you not to do it. Anyways, so this is working pretty well, but we need to add some sort of effect to indicate that you've been stunned. I tried recycling the stars we already have by making them smaller and desaturated, but I, it just felt cheap and I didn't really like it. So I started mocking stuff up on a still frame instead just to kind of get some sort of idea of what I wanted to do. I've been working on this uh, style sheet where I have different effects. I'm gonna add more to it later, but so far this is what I've got. So okay, I'm thinking, for example, when you take damage, you'd get this red thing around your head. And this is already happening, but we should probably make it a little bit more obvious. And so for this new shorter stun that we're making right now, I tried something a little brighter, like this maybe. Sort of like as if you're getting foggy or dizzy, you know? I don't know if this is gonna work, but I think let's aim for something like this. I also played around with this. Uh, I don't think we'll have time to implement it in this episode, but I was thinking that we could add sort of like a, an adrenaline rush thing. I've got a few ideas in mind for how that would work, but I was thinking it could look something like this. This is probably the like way too intense and too big, but I'm thinking just some, some sort of energy that just sort of, I don't know, something like this. <laughs> the fog effect was okay, but I also wanted to try adding something more obvious, like you're really getting dazed. I tried adding some distortion around the head. <laughs> it's like a fishbowl. I'll make a I'll make a boss out of this one. Fishbowl man. I added some animation to the distortion, sped it up a bit, and reduced it by quite a bit. It's subtle, but I think it's pretty nice. Now combining this with relaxing the muscles a bit. <laughs> okay, tiny bit too floppy, but almost. <laughs> Okay, yeah, 
I like that. I also tried bringing back some of that slow-mo we had earlier just to make it extra clear that something specific happened. I like it. What do you think? I've also been meaning to add a charge up effect when you charge up a punch. If you hold down the punch button, you charge up your attack, making it more powerful. This is currently not very obvious, so I wanted to add a little charge up effect here. I didn't want to overdo it here, so I wasn't quite sure what to do about this. I tried glowing hands, but <laughs> it didn't quite work. I played around with particle effects and distortion. I ended up with something like this, with a little vibration and glow. I really don't want to steal focus from the game, it should just be there to clearly tell you when you've reached max charge so that you can easily memorize the timing and then you don't even need to look at it. I spent the next few days making smaller tweaks to the game to improve the overall gameplay. I also did some quick test runs with Viv just to make sure that I wasn't digging myself down a hole. This is way better, it's just I still feel like I'm not in control. It's still too hard. When my character is at the top of the screen, it just, it's so confusing. The controls are like inverted, I don't know what I'm doing. It's already hard enough as it is to like figure out how to do the, like leaning in with the punches and then when you're at the top of the screen, it's it just, it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> I know, I know. Gotta fix it. And this brings us back to the issue I mentioned earlier. I've been hoping that at some point during development, I would just come up with a solution that fixes this whole issue, but... So the issue is, the controls only make sense when the camera is... One second. Okay, so this is our player. The controls only make sense when the camera is right behind our character. Like so, for you. Like if you're the camera which you are. The leaning works well, the movement, the punches, it all feels great. But when the character flips around and is looking towards the camera, it starts feeling like you're upside down, like the controls get inverted. And I've been trying a lot of different ideas here with the controls to try to make that feel better and more intuitive, but no matter what I do, it just doesn't feel right. The only real solution I can come up with to this is to change the camera. The camera basically needs to follow the player whenever the player rotates so that you're always behind your character. I'm okay with that though, that's not a big deal, but, but this also means that if you're playing local multiplayer, that means that we now have to introduce split screen, which I really feel kills part of the fun of this game. Like it's it's supposed to be this party game where you play together and it's fun, and, and by introducing split screen it feels like you're isolating the players. But playability is always priority number one. This is definitely the most painful decision I've had to make this far. Which is why I'm not making any jokes about it, because it's serious, okay? Changing the camera and introducing split screen wasn't too tricky. The hard part is to make the camera follow and rotate around the player without it being obnoxious or nauseating. Oh my god! god! But I got that working eventually too. It's not perfect, but I think it's okay. It feels like the camera is following nicely, it's good speed, it's not too much. Yeah. Babe, I think I got something. You wanna come try? Yeah. I changed the camera so that now it's we got split screen. Yeah, let's try playing. Okay. Whoa, okay, okay, I gotta say it myself, this is like Yeah, I mean this is night and day. This is so much better. Way better, right? Way better actually, yeah. Yeah. And you don't like really think about the fact that you're just looking at half the screen. Yeah. And at like, all. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, exactly. You don't really think about it anymore. Like when you're once you're playing, it's yeah. It just feels like I'm so much more deliberate, like I can see what's happening, like, ooh, yeah. your weekend. Ah, I have a hard time with the body shots, like, I can't, how do you do I gotta do, we gotta play shots. practice mode. Is there a practice mode? No. <laughs> Not yet. There will be. One day. Whoa! And an uppercut! <sighs> next I'm, one, next You're one. looking at a professional game, I know. I think it was pretty fun. That is like night and day. Okay, uh, real round of punch a bunch. Okay. Okay. Come on, Viv. Okay. Show me what you got. You've been practicing. You should be better now. I can block. I'm good at blocking. Oh, whoa, what was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa. you can't use that. I haven't put a limit on it yet. I think I might use it though. Okay, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> any health off of you, what the hell? You gotta keep your guard up all the time. Is that good? Oh, whoa, 
Oh, your glove was glowing. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, you can try it on your. If you, yeah. That is so cool. The face. Put a little vibration on the. Um, I haven't added vibration. Boom, I won. Again! It basically means that the game is perfectly balanced because I am way better at Viv than this game. And I'm winning! Which means that you can't button mash your way to a victory anymore. You gotta be a pro. I don't think I won last time either, but yeah. yeah that's true. Let's try it one more time. I think if I were to practice, then I could probably win a few. I'm really happy with how this fight turned out. We had so much fun playing and there was a while when I was a little worried about the game and if it would ever be fun or not, but now all that worry is gone and I can't wait to implement more features into the game. I'm so excited. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the in-between days between Christmas and New Year's and play a lot of Warzone. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. What, what is it? Are we forgetting something, Viv? Uh, the Google algorithm juice. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't forget about the Instagram too. Yeah, check it out. It's good. I'm gonna post pictures every day. Almost. Uh, Toby, remind me to post pictures on uh, Instagram every day. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>